Command line interface, or CLI, is kind of a blanket term for one of the ways in which you can communicate with your computer. An important part of a command line interface is what we call the console. The console is just a program that's used to send and receive text between yourself and the program that you're trying to communicate with. Each operating system has a console that comes with it by default. There are other ones you can use, but the one that people typically use for Macs is called Terminal. The one that's used in Windows is called Command Prompt. If I want to see what Terminal looks like on my Mac, I can just go up to Spotlight Search and start typing Terminal. There it shows up. I'll hit Enter. And here I see a rather boring little box that just has some text in it that I can type into. If I want to see the same thing on Windows, I can go to my Windows desktop here, go down to the search box in the lower left, and type command prompt, or start typing it, and there it is. And now I see the command prompt uh, console window looks similar, except it's got black background. But both of them just simply allow me to type text into a little box. So what is it that you're communicating with? The thing you're communicating with is basically the sh called a shell. It's the program that's receiving and processing these commands that you're sending and then sends you information back. We can think of it as this string telephone here where the console is basically what, where you're sending the information in and then that inf information is transmitted to the shell which then does something with that information. Some people have heard of a shell called Bash. This is the one that processes commands typically in the Linux operating system. And since Macintoshes are based on the Linux operating system, when I open the terminal window, the first thing I'm gonna see is the Bash shell. But I can also run other shells for different programming languages. For instance, both Python and R have shells. If I go back to my terminal window here, and let's just make it a little bit bigger so we can see better. So right now, if I look at the top of my window, it says bash, but if I type Python, now it says uh, that it's running Python 3.71, and I see this little triple greater than sign. That's how I know that I'm now communicating with the Python shell and not the Bash shell. And I can type something like print O. And it does something for me. If I do control Z, that stops the Python shell and now I'm back into the Bash shell again. The command line interface, uh, which is what I started off with, is basically another word for saying the shell that you're communicating with. We can use those more or less interchangeably. And we can contrast a, a CLI with a graphical user, user interface, or GUI. And a lot of times you can communicate with a particular programming language through either a CLI or a GUI. Um, an example of this is Git, which is a, a technology that some people may have used. You can issue commands to, to Git through a command line interface. And so you, you see a boring screen with text on it like this. Or another option is to use a graphical interface like GitHub Desktop. And so you can see GitHub Desktop um, allows you to basically do the same thing as the CLI, but you have a nice little window with buttons and often it shows you more things than the CLI will show you. So a lot of times uh, beginners will prefer to use a graphical interface, but once they become more advanced users, they'd rather use a command line interface because sometimes the command line interface will have capabilities that aren't available in the graphical user interface.